Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the October-November 2017 IGCC ICT Paper 2. In the last couple of videos, we have looked at document production as well as data manipulation. So in this uh, section, we will look at mail merge. So you are required to carry out a mail merge to produce booking confirmation letters. Okay, so use the file n170 uh, as TC confirm dot um, rtf as a master document for the mail merge and the file n170c bookings csv as the data source file so um in the master document you need to um in the master document you need to replace the date with the field to display today's code uh, rather today's date um insert relevant merge fields from the data source file to replace the text in chevrons i.e the field so you should replace um 15 fields in the document okay so replace the text candidate's name with your name and include your name, center number, and candidate number in the foot of the document. Spell check and proofread the document, save the master document and display the field code. Okay, so these are some of the tasks that we are going to do as we do so. So then, to begin with, let's start by, um, first of all, opening the file um, in question. Um, so the files that we're going to use, this one will be the master file. So it's the one that we're going to open. This one will be the source file. Okay, so that's where we're going to get um, the data. So let's go to our folder for the files. So the folder name, first of all, is TC Confirm. So it's this one. So open this one. And then let's insert now um, the source file. So the source file is still on desktop <clears throat> in here. Well, not in there, in here. Okay, so the other file is supposed to be, <clears throat> um, let's just check the file name. It's supposed to be TC bookings. Okay, so which is this one? So insert it. Okay, so next step we are supposed to in the master document replace the date with the field to display the date date. So we need to insert um, the date. So go here for the date, select the date. Okay, like source. Make sure that you select it up to that end only. And here you're going to insert merge fields. So select um brother select uh, insert the date um this one we can insert it without using merge fields anyway um so this is going to be an automated date so you can find it on quick parts if you want and go to field and then from there um you can hit d on your keyboard and select date with a specified format that you want okay so i think i'll go for this format um and say okay alternatively you can get the date from here okay um that is um, going to be uh, just fine next insert the relevant merge fields from the data source to replace the text in chevrons uh, i.e this and they should replace about 15 instances so let's do this okay so the first one is this <coughs> um merge field so that is the title then we do the um the first name then we do the last name okay so this is easy guys um this is where you can gain a lot of marks um, um in the exam okay so area um get it that way and postcode okay so make sure you just end right just about there to avoid creating extra lines like um not extra lines you you actually um push some lines up okay so title again so we done one two three four five six seven this is the eighth one um this is last name nine then this is the tenth one book ref and this is the eleventh one cruise type and um, this is the twelfth one duration duration this is 13th one passenger passengers and then this is departure date is the 14th one um departure okay um so this will be the 15th one there will be 16 because one is a repeat title is being put there twice 
so you will see that it will be repeated okay so but that's not a problem okay then in back all right so next we need to replace the text candidate name with your name okay so include um let me see it says include your name center number and candidate number in the footer of the document so that should be fine so there um candidate name here just put your name that's uh, evans and in the footer um, insert in the footer so in the footer i'm going to put the candidate number which is 0556 and the center uh, rather the center number 0556 and the candidate number 0001 and i'll remove this placeholder okay so just verify that you've done the correct thing so include your name center number and candidate number in the foot of the document so that includes actually both the name uh, center number and candidate number so what i'm going to do is just undo this and um here i'm going to type scasa evans and um here i'm going to type zerem 556 and here i'm going to type 0001 okay okay so that should be fine next um save the master document of course we're going to save it and um, next we need to display the field codes okay so um the field codes are already shown as you can see um these are the field codes that are there okay um well there's a difference between the field codes and the merge fields okay so the merge fields will show you um i'll show you just in a moment um, but the field codes, these are the field codes, and then the merge document is when it shows um, the actual files now that you have been um, um, working on. Okay, um, so let's get evidence. Placing your evidence document screenshot showing the code for the format for the dead field. Okay, so let's go for the dead field. So to get the dead field, just simply go to file. Um, of course, I think the shortcut should be alternative F9, if I'm not mistaken. Out F9 on your keyboard should give you the field codes, um, but you can also get them from here. So go to um, um, to um, a file, then options, and then under um, under advanced, I think. Let's go to show document content this section, and make sure that show fields um, show field codes instead of their values, and say okay. And these are the merge fields, okay? So these are the merge fields. Sometimes they can tell you to print with the merge fields. These are the merge fields. So the one evidence they are looking for is this one. So just copy that and paste it in your evidence document. So where's my evidence documents here? So screen field short um, here, okay? Um, that is the merge field for the debt, okay? Um, then we need to um, go back here and get... Um, print your master document with the merge fields, um, the merge fields displayed, okay? So make sure that you have entered um, your name, center number, and candidate number, um, <clears throat> and candidate number uh, on your document, okay? So you can go ahead and print this document, okay? Just go ahead and print the document. Um, I'll go to the next, um, <clears throat> and go to the next um, section. It says merge the letters selecting only those who have chosen a caribbean cruise for a duration of more than seven days okay so um so i'm going to move away from the merge field um uh, section here um and i'm going to um disable the merge field so go to account option um then go to um, advanced and this one not this one actually this one um okay and so you have these fields here okay so these are the field codes now what you need now to do is to get um to merge this and let's look at the criteria so we need to merge this only for the guys who have chosen caribbean cruise for a duration of more than seven days okay duration of more than seven days so um let's go to edit recipient and filter and then um we are filtering first of all the cruise type it's supposed to be caribbean okay um 
then um, the next thing we're supposed to do is that uh, these guys, they should have a duration of more than seven days. So duration, uh, duration greater than, is it greater or equal to? Let me just confirm that. Um, a duration of more than seven days. So it's greater than seven days, greater than seven. Okay, so try to run your filter and see that it retrieves the correct values. You can check this um, by checking cruise type is Caribbean and the duration, which is here, it's 9, 14, 10, which is greater than 7. Okay, so that should be fine. Um, so before you can close this window, you are told to place in your evidence document um, um, screenshots showing your selection criteria. Okay, so um, what you need to do is um, just right here, go back to filter. And this is the criteria that you've used. So just get a screenshot of this. Okay, and copy it. Then go to um, the evidence document. I say okay and okay. Go to the evidence document and paste your screenshot selection here. Okay, and so just push this down. Next step. Print only the merged letters for the selected recipient. So go ahead and print um, the merged letters. So preview results if you want. You can check that there are three records that you have, okay? And finish and merge. You can print directly or you can merge the individual uh, letters and then print them, okay? So that should be fine. Um, so the next thing that we are supposed to um, to do, um, actually, actually that's the end to merge, um, as mail merge. Okay, so thank you so much guys for watching. Um, this um, was a short one, so there you go with your eight marks. And um, I'll see you in the next video when we look at the last part, which is presentation. All right.